Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Wreck on the Hardest Difficulty setting. This is episode 1, Finale, Hyperion Labs. So here we are, the final level of Wreck. And right off the bat, we're gonna start off with our first secrets. We just rocket jump up here, for some treasure. I'm gonna open up the first section of this level. So the way this, sec uh, the way this level works is... You kind of revisit previous themes of the first episode. So we started off in a disposal area and we moved on to the recycling center. So now we're back in the disposal area, as you can see. And we're gonna go for our kill streak here. It's a short one, but good enough. And the Crusher we will kill with the finisher. Alrighty. Then you may notice these goodies up here. You can rocket jump up there for your second secret. And here you have blue and yellow bars. And if you press the blue button, it will lower these blue bars actually. So if we want to get these items, we're going to have to lower the yellow bars. And that's what this switch to the left does. It lowers the yellow bars also here. So you kind of need to open the blue bars also to go through here. But we're going to leave the blue bars alone in the entire level. And you will see why. So yeah, yellow bars only. I'm going to go up here for the third secret. And together for these blue bars, you can sort of try to jump over the red spike balls using this ledge but it's too tricky I'll take it safe I'll just rocket jump over them now they give you a doomster here for a reason and you will see shortly so we press this button and then we grab our rocket launcher and we run and jump over these spike balls. Ooh, that's always um, a nervous. Uh, the jump, the jump makes me nervous. So yeah, we just shoot rockets to these guys. The doomster takes care of them very nicely. All right, so now we load up our finisher with the next section. What we're gonna do is lure all the crawlers together along with the troopers and soldiers and we're gonna gather them to one spot so just walk around a bit like this until they all get nice and cozy okay there we go not bad, not bad. I've done better. I've had a 17 kill combo once. On my practice run before I did this video. But 14 is not too bad. Although I wish I could have um, broken the 5 million total score. That's, a, that's actually an achievement you can get. But I already got it, so. But maybe there's still time. So yeah, now we're back in the recycling center. Oh yeah, those kamikazes will get released if you go too far into that room. So be aware of that. Alright, here's a little puzzle. Now remember that we wouldn't touch the blue bars uh, switch. Well, here's the reason why. Because if you press, press the blue bar switch, these will lower, you will never access this secret here. Okay, this jump is a bit iffy. Gotta be careful not to touch the red spike ball. And if we, if we grab the mega out, we're gonna see a familiar face. Hey, geyser. From the very first level, remember? Now he's a bit tougher because of the spike balls, but you can still just 
stay in this small uh, section here. So there's no reason to move around, really. Alright. Almost done with the recycling center bit. This area is also a bit scary. Because of the spike balls you can uh, move into with the conveyor belt. I'm not moving into the room because they're kamikazes. See? Okay, so just a few more enemies left and we're done with this level. Then it's time to kill the boss. Maybe I can get 5 million points. If I kill all these enemies with a nice kill streak. We'll see. Oh, crap. I didn't see that kamikaze. And... No, that's it. Almost 5 million. Alright, so all the kills, all the treasure, all the secrets, still within time. I, Well, I've clearly beaten the map score. So now it's time to grab some ammo. And we're gonna take on the final boss of the game. Which I will say is probably the most creative boss you've ever seen. Or the funniest boss. You will see why. Alright, here we go. The final boss. A very expressive boss. Okay, so when he has his red shield, you can have to hit him with the sword to get rid of it. And he has several attacks. So you saw the spinning attack. Oh, that's the stomping attack. You have to jump to avoid it. Then you saw he... Oh, okay. So... This attack, he's charging up an insta-kill Rogan attack. And you have to shoot at him with the shotgun three times, or any weapon that deals a lot of damage, I think. Like the rockets, or I'm not sure how it works. But it's the deadliest attack he can do. And then he has this attack where he shoots homing missiles from his fingertops, fingertips. And what else does he have? The attack where he lowers the, the spike balls. Stop it. Okay, now he's charging again. Got him three times with the shotgun, or else he will instantly kill me. And I forgot to jump again. Damn it. I'm a bit rusty today. Oh, spinning attack, but luckily he got flinched. I've gotta flinch him again. Spinning attack. Got to get rid of the shield again, because with the red shield, he's actually invincible. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, it was really close. If he charges for too long, he will kill you. But yeah, very expressive boss with the, with the little smiley face there. I love it. And I keep forgetting to jump. I'm not sure what's wrong with me today. be almost dead. Just a few more shots and we're done with the game. Let's take him out with the swords just for fun. Oh, whoa, I almost died. Wow. Okay, there we go. We're done. Let's see our... Uh our results. Our final Tidarium medal. And there it is. And I almost beat my personal best. I actually did in the practice run before this. I had 1.6 million points. But uh, I didn't save. Okay. We're done. So that's Wreck, a severely underrated gem, one of the few recent games that really capture the old school vibe of older FPS games. 
It has lots of enemies, secrets, the map design is often non-linear, pretty good music by Bobby Prince by the way. And I love the way the game implemented big secrets where you have to think of creative solutions to get it. The kill, uh, the kill chain and combo system is great too. Really changes the way you approach enemies and how you move around the map. It truly really makes this game unique. Unfortunately, since this game is made by a small indie studio, a segment and third episode were never realized. They did start working on a work spin-off called Exoverse. It's not as fast and frantic as this one, and it's a tower defense game too. But it's worth checking out for its creative game. Um, it has very creative and fun gameplay. So uh, yeah, I highly recommend this game. It's a good and fast-paced FPS game with a very nice score-driven system that is really solid. And that's all I have to say for now. I don't know right now which game to take on next, but uh, I guess you'll see that soon. So see you later.